of It's a Wonderful Life, as we will be broadcasting to millions of listeners around this wonderful country, we would like to go over some radio rules. First, please notice the on-air sign. When it is lit, we are actually broadcasting, so we would ask you to be a polite audience. If you have a persistent cough, please go to the lobby for a drink. If perhaps you have a restless child, please take them to the lobby for a break. You, of course, are welcome to laugh and to clap at all the wonderfully appropriate times. At certain times, we will put up an applause sign. Our stage manager will demonstrate. At those times, please applaud. One last item. Because they did not exist in 1947, we would ask you to please turn off all personal electronic devices and cell phones. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy WAGK's presentation of It's a Wonderful Life. Old Nick Hour's drugstore. 
It's me, Mr. Gower. George Bates. Relay. Two cents worth of too late to buy it. Please, Dorothy. I like you. You like every boy. What's wrong with that? Here you are. Bye, Georgie. See you later, Mary. Made up your mind yet, Mary? I'll take chocolate. With coconut? I don't like coconut. You don't like coconut? Say, brainless. Don't you know where coconuts come from? Look at here. From Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, the Coral Sea. Is that a new magazine? I never saw it before. Of course you never. Only us explorers can get it. I've been nominated for membership in the National Geographic Society. Let me get your ice cream. Is this the year you can't hear on? George, baby, I'll love you till the day I die. I'm going exploring someday. Wait and see. George, now be paid to be a canary. Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Mary. What was that piece of paper George just picked out? It's a telegram from Mr. Gower. He found out this morning that his son died of influenza and spent the afternoon drowning his grief in whiskey. Mr. Gower, do you need anything? No. I'll get them, sir. Take those caps off to Mrs. Blanks. They have the diphtheria there, haven't they? Ah, uh, get going. Yes, sir. Mr. Gower, that bottle you used. You, you put something wrong in those capsules. Who do you think you're talking to? Ah, you're hurting my sore ear. Do you want to say, get out of here? Mr. Gower, you don't know what you're doing. I know you got that telegram and you're upset. But look at the bottle you used, Mr. Gower. It's poison. Poison? Don't hit my story again. Poison? Well, George. George. All I wanted was to make sure, Mr. Gower, I will never tell a soul. Hope to die, I won't.